Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to you. Jumma Mubarak. Alhamdulillah. Shukur Allah. Any questions anyone has? I don't feel like talking too much today. <laughs> Anybody wants to say something? Or oh, you're already sleeping? Once we start, it's shaitan. <laughs> yes. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Bismillah. When, uh, <clears throat> like I'm reluctant to consult because I'm thinking already that you're going to say, no, don't do it. <laughs> is that uh, fear or is it arrogance? Ego. <laughs> Ego. Of course it is. You see, you, the question is, should I say your question for you or do you want to say your question for yourself? Huh? That we have somebody in front of us. We have our sheikh in front of us. And sometimes we don't want to consult with our Sheikh. Yeah? Because we know what the Sheikh's answer is going to be. So the question is, I don't know whether that's coming from Shaitan or Rahman, from my ego <laughs> or from heavenly sources. <laughs> what do you think? Let me ask all of you that. What do you think? What do you think, scroll? <laughs> hmm? Huh? Usually it's from our ego. Yes. It's a good answer. Usually, because maybe there's sometimes that what you think Shah Fendi is going to say is not what it is. But most of the time we don't want to consult because we don't like the answer that he's going to give. If we know we don't like the answer that he's going to give, then it is coming definitely from the ego. Yeah? Especially if you're a long time you read. Especially when you know that he's going to wash you up first. In one way, in the one hand, your heart is working already. You know what's going to happen next. Your heart is working. But on the other hand, you're not using that connection. You're letting that connection to fall down. You understand? Because I know, now this is a thing about our way. Consultation. They're saying if you have a share, three things, it is obligation for you to consult. Marriage, divorce, and travel. But if you are a um, murid, and you want to become a better murid, then you're going to consult with your share everything. That is important. Not everything that is not important. You're not going to consult with him saying mm, what color t shirt I'm going to buy, what I should have for dinner tonight. No, no. But you're going to consult with him with anything, every other thing that is important. What is important? You know what is important in your life. If you're going through your life and during the daytime and you're having trouble with, say, your children, and there's something that you want to do to them. Say, for example, you get so upset with them that you want to kick them out of the house. <laughs> okay? Now, can anyone say that's not important? No, it's important. So you are going to ask. You're going to consult. That is the time. Yes, you're going to consult because it is important. And you're going to say, this is a situation that is happening. I'm planning to do this. Is this a good idea? Okay? You may do that. The more you do that, the more guidance that you're going to get. So, with so many things in our lives, because we have a share, the more we consult, the more blessing is going to be, because he is our guide. He's going to guide us. If we're not going to consult, go to the kitchen. Go, go. go to the kitchen. Go do something. If I find you sleeping outside too, I'm going to hang you. Yeah, I'm not saying, I'm not lying. 
I was saying, once you sit down and say, Ayuz Billah ibn Shaitan Rajin, boom, people laugh. Why is that? So, anyway, and I'm not making this heavy either. So, you have a guide, consult. If you consult, you're never going to fail. At the very least, you're going to say, I'm going through this, please pray for me. At the very least. You're not just going to make decision. And now, more closer you're coming to the Sheikh, more closer you are doing the work, more closer you are in the Darga, you're going to be very careful now. You didn't consult, you are going to consult with everything. So, yes, if you don't want to consult, it is coming from shaitan. Don't say, I achieve this connection to my shaykh directly. Now, whenever I close my eyes, I'm going to make a rabita and murakaba, and my shaykh is going to appear in front of me. Every time I call, he's going to come. Who are you that every time you call, he's going to come? Huh? Then I'm going to make murakaba, and then my shaykh is going to come. I don't have to consult those that he has placed to represent him those he has placed uh, to be our leaders. There is also another sickness. So, you will find those ones that they are saying, no, I'm not going to follow anyone. But, say for example, but my sheikh. Uh, the sheikh may appoint other ones and say, I'm not going to follow, just my sheikh. But the Shah's protocol is you have to follow others. He says, no, I'm, I have Rabita, I have Murakaba, I have this, I have that. You're going to see pretty soon no one is going to follow him. Is it? Isn't it? Pretty soon no one is going to listen to him. No one is going to be around him. Everyone is going to have problems. It happens. But if that one is saying, no, I'm going to just share and he says I must listen to that one, even if he makes mistakes now. My job is to follow. You're following, then that time when you're given responsibility, other people will follow you. And even when you make mistakes at that time, they will follow you. Because they understand and you understand them. But if you say I'm not going to follow anyone, then that time quickly you're going to fall. So we have to wake up, inshallah. That much I can say today. Assalamu alaikum.